Katie. Hey. World Championships. How yeah. was it? Oh my gosh, so much fun. I've just been really trying to soak up the experience. Oh my god. Um, and uh, I, I just had so much fun out there today. I was super relaxed. I feel like my mindset has been just like really good in building this whole indoors. Um, I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed <laughs> with my overall place because, I mean, a lot of the things that Shelby just said in her interview, um, my plan coming in was just to get in, tuck in on the rail, avoid as much jostling and uh, use useless moves as I could. Um, I mean, every time I race, I go back, I watch the footage with Danny, and we kind of talk, and, and at Milrose, I mean, I PR'd, but I, um, I did run a little bit on the outside and like make some surges where I wasn't actually covering ground. I was just like surging and then like getting boxed out because there wasn't enough room for me and kind of going back. So I kind of took that in with me to USA's and I think it showed in my kick. And so today I was just, I knew there was going to be a move and I was waiting for that move. And it was just, once it happened, it's, uh, it's so much more aggressive than when it happens at USA Championships. I mean, these are the best women in the world. And when they went, it was like, okay. And then it's like, you know, it took me a second to get around. And when I did, there was a little bit of the gap. And I was just trying to stay really calm and positive. And I was like, okay, some of those girls that went out up there are going to blow up. So just reel them in one by one. And that's what I tried to do was like not count myself out and just keep moving up gradually. And I just, I just couldn't quite, couldn't quite get back up there. Um, and I really felt like coming in, maybe my ranking wasn't as high, uh, but I've been right there with Shelby. I beat Marielle and Emma at USA's. So I knew that if I had a really good day, like I could, be up there and contend for a medal and that's where you know I believed I could be and uh, it just you know when you get into the race and you know your legs can do what your legs can do on that day and I I you know gave it a hundred percent and I um, I really enjoyed my experience out there and I try uh, you know I've been trying to get to this meet for a long time <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I just I just wanted to do as good as I can and hopefully I'll have other t opportunities to come back and, and keep chipping away and place a little bit higher where I you know, believe I could place on a really good day and that's all, that's all you can do. Were you, uh, <laughs> I guess, bummed to see the start list all these women doubling? Because like, if the schedule had been different, you know, half of them might do 1500 and half of them might do 5k, but now it's like, this was blown to grace. Yeah, I mean, I think arguably this is, if not the deepest, one of the deepest fields here at Worlds, but for me, that just got me really excited. I mean, I love it. I lo <laughs> That's what fires me up, you know, when I saw everybody who was going to be in there at USA's, I was just excited, because I know that that's when you have a good opportunity to be, bring the best out of yourself, and so going into this race, I was just like, all right, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to hunt and hopefully take down some scalps, and um, I mean, it, it, like I said, you know, I was... Not, not quite how I, you know, how I envisioned it going, but there, there is a lot of really, really good women out there. I tried to not view the race any differently than I would some of the other major Diamond League races that I've done in the 3K. You know, I've, I've, I've run well at 3K's Diamond Leagues, and so when I saw a start list, I was like, okay, this is like a really, really tough Diamond League race. Uh, what, what was your favorite part of the whole experience? Um. I don't know. That's a that's a good question. I mean, honestly, coming out onto the track with the the fireworks was pretty cool. <laughs> it was that was really fun. Um, getting out there and and lining up next to Baba that was fun. <laughs> um, just like the USA, they have such good support and they really really do everything to make us athletes feel welcome and get us anything that we need while we're here. So it's cool. You know, you get to come and. You get to be a little bit of a prima donna for a weekend, and it's, yeah, it's really, it's a really exciting experience. And I think, uh, yeah, there's, there's not much I would change except for trying to cover that move a little bit better. I mean, my mindset coming in um, was what I've been working on all season, which is just, 
you know, what's my armor when I get out there into battle, when I get out there onto the track. And for me, that makes me think of um, like one of my favorite Bible passages, Ephesians 6, where it's talking about the armor of God and it's a metaphor, you know, for the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shield of faith. And so all season long I've been doing, you know, positive affirmations and daily gratitude and I've been thinking like, what are the different pieces of my armor? And um, and so I think that that's just been, help, just been helping me to, you know, go out there and feel really calm and confident. So. And have fun. <laughs> and have it made the team like after so many attempts, I guess individual American team. Like, what sort of message do you think that sends maybe to younger athletes or I suppose athletes who may have struggled with injury like, as you have in this year? Yeah, I mean, I guess my message to younger athletes um, would just be, you know, don't don't give up. Listen to what you believe that you can do. There's going to be a lot of people who tell who want to tell you what you can't do, but if you believe what you can do, like those words don't have any power over you. And uh, just if it takes you a little bit longer than you thought, you know, keep keep going and keep chipping away and keep learning from the failures and getting back up because ultimately I'm grateful for all the hardships that I had that got me here because I think maybe it took me a little bit longer but I'm a different person than I would have been otherwise and I, you know, pushing myself in that way really forced me to find a lot of gratification in other aspects of my job. I think it makes me a better teammate. I. Um, you know, I was really led to start a camp for high school girls in Seattle. You know, I don't, I don't know if those are things that I would have done if I would have had a really easy path right off the bat. And so, so I'm grateful for those. And I just would tell younger athletes to try and be grateful for those as well, and and just uh, just keep believing in yourself. How hard has the last year been? I mean, getting back from that stress fracture back to this stage, you know, makes some yeah. athletes in the world. <laughs> oh man. Uh, that was a pretty, that was a pretty rough injury. You know, I cried a lot. There was a lot of days when I doubted myself. That's another thing I guess I would tell younger athletes is I don't think that confidence in yourself is something that you have or you don't have. I think it's something that goes up and down, and it's a skill that you acquire over time and you work on um, acquiring. And it's a constant battle. I mean, here I am at Worlds, and I. You know, I, this fall was, I was really doubting myself. After the Olympic trials, I was really doubting myself. And um, I just kept working on those skills and and uh, and just like building to the point where I am now. So just keep working. Had you made the team uh, at a much younger age, how do you think the, the 24 year old, year old you would have reacted to this race and to that move? Um, I think I would have, I think I would have reacted a little, really similarly. I mean, I try and think of where I was when I was 24 and I, I was racing in some of these bigger races. Maybe I was a little bit more overwhelmed, whereas now I feel more calm when I'm out there because I'm like, okay, well, this is something I've been through before. I've performed well at these meets before. Um, and so I have that confidence that maybe I didn't have as a 24-year-old. But I think that I've always been a really aggressive racer and I've always like really tried to believe in myself and put myself in it as much as I can. Um, barring, you know, mistakes here or there or uh, lessons I had to learn, but pretty, pretty similar, I guess. <laughs> what are you uh, focusing on in the spring? Um, I guess that's TBD. I, I really would like to focus on the 1500. Uh, I think that coming at it with a little bit more of this distance background gives me an advantage in the rounds because I feel really strong going through the rounds. And I, I have really... The 1500 has always been my favorite event, and then the mile, and I just love it. And I, I just really, before I step off the track, I really want to get into a race where I can try and break four. And I don't know if that'll be this year. Um, ho hopefully, I feel like I'm in really good shape, and I feel like you know it's March 1st, and and I know that there's a lot of training left in the tank. Um, and Danny's always really smart with our programming, so I'm confident that I'll be able to come back and race even better in a couple months from now. Um, so. Hopefully, I'd like to get some good opportunities in that race, I guess. Okay, thank you, Jenny. <laughs>